Collections, items, and fields are the foundation of any content management system. They help you keep your site's content structured, consistent, and easy to manage, especially as your site grows. So in this lesson, I'll walk you through how to create your first collection, manage its items, and set up the fields that control what kind of content each item holds. Let's get started. To quickly recap from the last lesson, a CMS collection is like a folder that groups related content. Inside that folder are items, and each item follows the same structure, defined by a set of fields, which are the type of content within an item. So now that we've got that fresh in our minds, let's walk through how to set up your first CMS collection in Framer. To get started, click on CMS in Framer's top menu bar. This will open a new sidebar where all our collections will live. But since we don't have any set up yet, you'll see a few options, like importing a collection from an external source like a CSV file or starting with Framer's sample blog. But for this lesson, we're starting from scratch. So I'll go ahead and click the plus icon next to the word collections to create our first one. Now it's time to name our collection. It's always a good idea to choose something clear and descriptive like blog posts, team members, or products. A good name keeps things organized and easy to manage as your site grows. For this example, I'm creating a simple blog, so I'm going to name this first collection Articles. Now, before we dive into making our first item, let's take a closer look at fields since they hold the structure of our item's content. To do that, I'll click Edit Fields at the top to open a panel where I can add or customize the fields for this collection. Framer gives us a range of field types to choose from, depending on the kind of content we need to store. By default, it starts us off with two of the most common, a plain text field, which is great for short content like names or titles, and a formatted text field, which works well for longer content like blog articles or bios. You'll also see a slug field that's been automatically added. This is required for every CMS item and is used to generate the item's URL when we start creating pages from our content. We'll dive deeper into how that works in a later lesson. To add a new field, just click the plus icon in the top right corner of the panel. This opens a list of all the available field types you can use. Some of the most commonly used include image fields for things like profile photos, banners, or thumbnails, link fields for URLs, calls to action, or buttons, and toggles, which are perfect for simple on-off switches, like when you're marking an item as featured. There are also other options like color, numbers, and date fields, giving you the flexibility to shape your content exactly how you need it. Since I'm creating a blog, I'll go ahead and add an image field for my banner image and a date field to show when the article was written or published. Each field we add comes with its own set of properties that we can adjust to better fit our content needs. For example, I can change the name of the field to keep things clear and organized, like changing the image field to, say, banner, or add a description to help explain what kind of content should go there which is especially helpful if I'm going to be collaborating with a team. One of the most commonly used properties is the required toggle. Turning this on makes sure that every item in your collection includes content for that field before it can be saved or published to your site. Adjusting these properties give more control and flexibility over how content is structured and managed within the CMS. Now that we have our field set up, it's time to add our first item. So I'll go ahead and click on new item, which will create a blank item using the fields I just defined. From here, we can start filling in each field with content, adding a title, uploading my banner image, choosing a date, and so on. Once you've finished populating all of the fields, just click save at the top to add the new item to the collection. If you ever need to make changes, just click on the item from the list, It'll reopen so you can edit any existing fields or fill in any new ones you've added later. 
You can also right click an item to duplicate it, which is great for adding new content quickly. And if you want to reorder your items, you can either drag and drop them manually or click on the column label at the top, like date or title, to sort them automatically based on the content in that field. Something that'll be extra useful when we dive into collection lists in an upcoming lesson. Now that you know how to create a collection, set up fields, and add items, you're ready to start populating your collection with real content. In the next lesson, we'll take it a step further by going over how to use those items to automatically generate pages and how to customize the design of each item page to match your site's look and feel. See you there.